What's up guys? We are here for a new recap of the week at Duckflip and this week I said I was gonna develop the layers panel and that was precisely it. I mean, I didn't know I was gonna take that long to develop it honestly. I spent like four days or something developing that thing. Uh, for you guys that don't know, it's a tree view. So imagine, you know, you have a tree where you have, you know, layers of certain elements or like a folder where you have other folders, you get the idea. So it's essentially a tree structure. And I just had so much trouble, I mean, getting around that because I first developed one that wasn't really good. Then I found this really nice library, which I left on my uh, X or Twitter post, you, if you want to check it out. Uh, that was just amazing for me. I mean, I really loved it. Uh, the only problem really was that the library in itself does not have a lot of support but it's just really nice in terms of the UI. So, you know, you may have problems on uh, performance efficiency and all those sorts of things, but I feel like you could solve that really easily without much struggle. And I mean, just getting things off the ground, you know, starting off with a really nice UI that's what this library essentially provides you. It's just such a heads up into, you know, developing your tree view if you are doing so. That's essentially what I'm trying to relate. That's my experience. Well, apart from that, which was really monotonous, I mean, I feel like I want to have someone relate this to me when you have like that week where you are just developing product, you know, you're just coding and you can't do anything else or, you know, it just doesn't occur to you doing anything else or uh, you know perhaps i'm scheduling uh poorly my days in the week but i mean when i'm developing something in code i, I feel like i just want to finish it and get over with it you, you feel me and i don't know if you guys relate to it but uh, i mean probably i just have to have a better time management and i feel like i'm someone who really invests in his time management like i've been doing this ever since I love organization and now that I'm talking about it, perhaps I might uh, allocate different parts of my time throughout the week to different things instead of being monotonous just on trying to develop this one thing in code, for example, which was the tree view in this case or the layers management in our, you know, personal uh, company context. Well, and another thing. So I didn't just do that this week, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I, I had more time. And another thing I did was essentially developing like uh, a theory of how we're going to do dynamic components. So I don't know if you guys know Figma. However, that's a design tool for, you know, graphic designers or um, website builders, you know, all that sort of thing. It fixes a lot of criteria, much like Adobe Illustrator. And they have this amazing layers panel, which I just love because I've been using Figma for a long time since I discovered it, uh, like about four years ago. Um, and I, I, we just want to do something similar. And I think the result is even better than what they actually have, not to get a little bit guessed up on, by myself, but I feel like the result really came out alive. And about the components, uh, I was talking about the tree view. Now about the components, Figma has this really nice uh, thing about dynamic components where you can have a component and then you can change it. For example, you draw it in a certain part of your Figma file and then you can change it. And then the changes will, will reflect on the other instances of that component. And I just thought from the top of my head, like that was gonna happen either way, we're gonna develop something similar but actually brainstormed my way into something actually really nice, which I'm really proud of. And it's just a theory right now, so I'm not gonna enter details about it, but stay tuned because in the future vlog, let's say, I'm gonna break that down to you. I'm gonna, you know, try to uh, explain my vision on that and actually discuss this with the team, you know, refine the idea with uh, their idea too and then find a really nice way to develop this product too inside of the Flare app. Well, to wrap this up, um, the search bar is even better at the app. So now we actually added keywords. So if you, for example, search for home, 
in reality we don't have an item called home but we have an item called overview on the dashboard and so if you search for home you know the overview will have a keyword of home so it, you know it will appear so that's really nice you're just refining uh, the way you search through content on the on the search bar and just make it a whole lot better and also we added our final addition to it to wrap it up finally that and then start improving it over time that is the workspaces and projects so now dynamically throughout through your you know through your, your account and database instances where you may have your projects and workspaces now we actually can access them and display them on the search bar so that when you search for actually your projects let's say CAD project if you search for that on the, in the search bar it actually will appear and so that was a really nice addition and you know just one of the improvements this week well and just to finish the video i would like to say that i'm really proud of the channel as of right now we're really small i mean i'm talking now we are at 99 subs so it was a really special time and i hope this video will be you know reminded in the future where we may have a whole broader audience as we hope so with this content creation but we are approaching 100 subs and that's true so really powerful moment for us and i'm really proud of that so we'll end the video here on that note and thank you guys for watching ever since the beginning